And so we move to Kelsey Banks, a kid from a big family, four sisters and three brothers and a supportive dad who so often spends his own money that he earns as a steel worker to send Kelsey to different spots over the country where he can fight and hopefully earn his way into the pros. He will be fighting Juan Molina, the North American champion in this weight class. They know each other from previous meetings. Indeed they do, Al. Molina and Banks first met in the semifinals of this year's North American Championships. And in that match, Molina won a 4-1 to split decision. Kelsey Banks has worked very hard to prove that was a fluke. And this featherweight final in Seoul, Korea is underway. Quick reminder about the scoring. A 20-point must system. The winner of each round receives 20 points. The loser receives 19 or less from the five judges who are backed up by a five-member jury. And quickly, Kelsey Banks tries to move in on Juan Molina and avenge that refit defeat. But Molina quickly retaliates and sends Kelsey Banks to the canvas. A crushing right hand by Molina has Banks hurt. He puts his gloves up to show the referee, Han of Korea, that he's ready to fight, but he is in no condition right now to continue, Al. Molina roaring at Banks, and Banks is having no time of it in getting that right hand out and reestablishing himself. Second standing eight count for Kelsey Banks. One more in this round or in any round, and the fight is over. I have no idea what... Mr. Han of Korea, the referee, was signaling to the judges and the jury. It does not look like the time to recover did Kelsey Banks very much good. Al, he is still hurt. He's laying on the ropes. He must move to get out of range of the bombs that Molina's throwing. This is the third standing eight count, and this fight is over. The referee will continue to the count of eight and then call this bout. He's continuing. He's allowing to continue. Now he's being All told the by the judges. The ringside are telling him to stop the fight. This fight is over. Some confusion in the ring. Mr. Han of Korea not remembering the rule and now is being reminded by the judges and there is jubilation in the corner of Juan Molina, the North American champion. We said coming in that these were perhaps the two best featherweights in the world. And Juan Molina, I believe, with this sensational victory, Al, has established himself as the finest 125-pound amateur fighter in the world. It is an almost expressionless Kelsey Banks that we are looking at. Doesn't look woozy, but doesn't look like he was ready to fight anymore either. He may be expressionless, Al, but he's very, very upset inside, I can tell you that. And this is what made him so. Opening seconds, round number one, and that big right hand. Juan Molina exploded on the chin of Kelsey Banks. Kelsey got up, took two more standing eight counts, but it was all over in round one. Juan Molina, the biggest victory of his career and the most sensational. The gold medal for Juan, and that will be quite a souvenir from Seoul, Korea to take home to Puerto Rico.